למעלות. אשא עיניי אל ההרים, אוי מאין יבוא עזרי. עזרי מאם השם, עושה שמיים וארץ, אל יתן למות רגליך. Hi and welcome to another Voces Nias VNR video news release. Today we are proud to bring you an exclusive interview with Israeli singer Yosef, Israeli breast lift singer Yosef Karduner who happens to be in America for a short while and we were lucky enough to catch up with him. Shalom Aleichem Yosef. Shalom So um, America again and I, I see now uh, I picked up yesterday a brand new album, mm-hmm. Kumzitz, Yosef Karduner, live in New York soundtrack. Mm-hmm. I think this is a very big deal. The first Kumzitz album from Yosef Karduner, not from Israel, not from around the world, but from America. So what, what was it like coming to America for the first time? I know you're mainly uh, Ivrit speaking Yid. I'm, you know, I speak a little bit English. Yeah. But when your first time you perform in America, was it uh, you speak English when you spoke to the crowd? No. The first time I came, I think it was four, ten years ago. Ten years ago. It was after the twins fall down. The Twin the, Towers, after yeah. September 11th. Yes, after it was in Elul, I think. In Cheshvan, I came to first time to the, uh, the Elul of a business in Lebe. Rav Weinberger, Shlita, and his kid, and community, Yeshkoidesh, invited me to, to come here. And uh, it was uh, very, very uh, not easy to come because the visa to take a lesson to the visa, then it was very, very hard. They were very strict about letting yes. people to the country, yeah. But Baruch Hashem, my Nisim, came to here. And was, uh, the first time I wasn't talking English, nothing. I was, uh, even in the school I was learning English when I was young. But after I became a Jew, a lot of years I don't, didn't speak English at all. And when I came here, I, I was very confu- confused. <laughs> But after a year to year, I started to speak more. The truth is, your type of music, the music speaks directly to the people. Sometimes you don't even have to talk. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what you did in the beginning. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. I, I find it very funny that everybody knows the name Yosef Karduner. They know the song Shir La Malot. But with the, in the age now with computers and with cell phones that everybody knows everything, nobody knows anything about Yosef Karduner. Why? I don't know why. You don't know why? It's okay. For me, it's okay. For you, it's okay. <laughs> uh, we we, we want to know more about Yosef Karduner. What, what, when, when did you start playing music in, in your life? I think it was start for something like 13 years old, uh, old ago. I was 13 years old. Uh, yeah. It was in a tour, a trip that we do in the in the, in the school. Uh, all the all the Talmudim was uh, sitting and uh, singing, and suddenly I was singing sing along there, and uh, everyone was very enjoyed. And after the trip, the the teacher came to me and asked me to to do a show in the school, and from that it was start of the, my <laughs> the beginning. And you started then with the guitar, or the guitar you picked up later? After I take the guitar, I asked my mother to buy, to buy me a guitar, and I was learning, was, I was a lot of, uh, I have a big, big uh, razon, big will to, to know to play, and I was sitting and, and playing, and uh, I was uh, a couple of kinds of, uh, of uh, things there. I was in the army, in the band, like at Pico da And after it, I was uh, singing with uh, Zamar, the singer Uzi Hitman, famous uh, right. singer. I was uh, two years to play with him and uh, bass guitar and sing with him. After, and after I became a true Baal Hashem. So what, what was it? I mean, what was it that made you become Baal Shiva? Was there a specific moment, a specific thing that happened that made you be uh, Jose? There's a lot of things that's happening in the way that uh, it's changed you a little bit, a little bit. But... Uh, The main, two main things that happened to me in 24 years ago, uh, year old, I have a friend from the, from the, the army that became a Shiva. 
and uh, it tried to reach me and uh, tried to have connection with me. And uh, we met in my mother's house and they bring to me the Sefer Mesat Isharim. And started talking to me a little bit about uh, Musa. Musa started a little bit uh, speaking with me. And more, what he, more from what he talked with me, he speak with me, to see him. Suddenly I see my friend with a long beard, with a pious, with a big uh, kippah. And I see that cha- this man do a change in his life. And he leave me this, this book. Uh, and uh, I, when I was young, I wasn't uh, read a lot of the, uh, uh, books. But in this time, I was a big passion to read things. And this time he bring me the book, and I was looking about this book, and I cannot uh, leave the book. Uh, Can't put it down. I put it down till I finish it, and I see right away the the true against the all the shaker, the, the, all the shaker, the light against the choshech, and the darkness. I see right away the true. And they call me back after a couple of days. He asked me if I uh, if I. Uh, Read it to say I finished it. Say, Why? I don't finish it yet. <laughs> so uh, so uh, he, he sent me to a friend of him, Ravers Doron from uh, Lever Dvarim, a very, very famous mm-hmm. of books, before uh, maybe 16 years, 70 years. And Petr Tikva, I go to his Yavashir uh, there, and I go and upstairs on the, one of the plats there, and they bring to me a a couple of countrysim of Breslev and I want to ask that you say something about in such a room I see the show, the light, the, that everything is a shaker against this, the, the Netzach, the Neshome that comes from the, the need to come back. But what I can, what can I do? I don't think that I can do a Jew, I don't, I don't realize that I can do, be also a Jew, a, a, a religious. But when I see the contrasting of Rabbi Nachman that I get from Rabbi Zdoron, I see there that uh, Rabbi Nachman said that uh, how much a man, a man far away from Hashem Barach, if he come back inside, he said, he will serve Hashem, the, the covet of Hashem, the honor of Hashem Barach is, uh, is uh, make bigger and bigger dafka when people outside come, come inside. And this gives me a power to, if I can give a call to Hashem I can, this, this gives me a power to also do things and to get uh, higher and higher to be, until like now, like now, Hashem. Wow. So before you were Choser Lechuva, I think I heard somewhere you still used to play music. Before? Before you were Choser All my life, all my life was music. Right, but it was different kind of music. Different, yes. Uh, I heard you used to play in, in a, a rock band or something like Maybe, that. Yes, yes. Uh, there was also, also the guitar? Electric guitar. Yeah. Electric guitar, yeah. <laughs> And now you don't play electric guitar at all? No, in, in the CD stack play. Oh, on the CD stack? I, I always see you with an acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah. So the music's very different now. Uh, yes, much, much more. Before that, all, the, all my friends was the impression for me. You're so, uh, uh, you're so smart, you're so... Uh, uh, I would say uh, Mukhshar, I would say, uh, but uh, Mukhshar. But after I'm becoming Shuve, the songs that uh, Hashem gave me, the songs, so the the, the people uh, talk to me uh, different, very different. People cry for the songs, people have uh, hope from the songs. It's a, a different thing at all, so, before and uh, after. I see, I don't think that people really realize that in all your CDs, you're not going to composers and buying songs. All the all the zemer, all the songs are, are are from you. How do you? Uh, I mean, even before Balshuva, you composed your own songs yes. then. Yes. So this is something you're doing for a while. It's a gift, a gift from Shemayim, from Shemayim. What, what were you thinking, and where were you when you composed Shir La Malo? It's a good story. It was uh, Aben Akedosh Rabbi Nachman said to do one of the main advices to do every day, but to, to speak to Hashem in his language, to ask Hashem to become closer, to become better. And uh, it was after, maybe half a year after becoming Shuba, I was going every day to, uh, even now, uh, every day to do it, but it, and then we go to the field next to Bnei Brak to feel a couple of friends, 
sometimes in the night, something, sometimes after the ticking, go to, to, uh, to the Hisboidus, and after it I was usually, usually to sit uh, half an hour with the guitar and, and singing and uh, compose. And one, uh, one of the days, those days, after I did the Hisboidus, I ride to my house, and in the middle of the way, I, I feel a, a, a beginning of a song. Na, 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 na. And it comes with me, a, a tramp with me come this song, the beginning of this song. And uh, I feel something very, very uh, good, something very, very, uh, very uh, important. Go, go, come to the house. Right away, take the guitar to see what, 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 what's going here. In the beginning I tried to compose it on a shrey shvetecha. A shrey shvetecha, od yad zuhcha nasela. I see it's very, very long uh, tealing, yeah. and it's, I don't know if I can finish it. I want to take something uh, completely. So I, I look about the uh, sidur. Uh, uh, I come to uh, Arvit, Fiat Arvit, in Shirla Malot, and I start to, to try to... Shirla Malot. I say in the Arim, but say no, 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 go down, go high. I say in the Arim, and like that, I was trying to compose it in maybe five minutes. All the song was uh, completely. Uh, wow. So it wasn't like you had a full composition, and you said, "Oh, I need to find words. Let me look." No, you had a piece, and as you're looking at the words, you go, <laughs> "Yeah, something like that." Wow. Like that. It's uh, not every time it's the same. And everybody's singing the song. It's a gift. It's I mean, Lipa, Yishar Lapidot, Itzik Orlev redid it in Eretz Yisrael. Everybody. No, 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 everybody. No, a lot of stories. A lot of stories. And it's, a, it's a, an emotional song. Whether, whether you do it fast or whether you do it slow, it still has that tongue. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you that, you know, a lot of singers, they have concerts. It's a concert, you know? When you have a concert, for some reason, it's always a kumzitz, it's always a, a, a we say heimish, you know, everybody's there, it's slow, it's calm, it's, it's emotional. How, how did you get into that, uh, how did you get into that niche, you know, where uh, Yosef Karduner comes out, uh, it says, okay, concert with Yosef Karduner. <laughs> and then you come there and it's, you play some fast stuff, but it's not wild, it's, it's very... You know what I mean? Very betamed. Matnat Shamayim, Shem gives Matana, Baruch Hashem, that the music, I hope, the music that I sing, and I will sing with Hashem, the connection to Hashem Yitbarach, the people close to Hashem Yitbarach, close to the true tzaddikim. This is my my true will inside, and I, and if Hashem give me that people think like that, and it's, I thank Hashem, that's it's like that. Uh, this new album, Kumzitz, what can you tell me about this new album besides that it's performances from New York? Are, are the songs all, all, all from you on the album? No, or? most of the songs are uh, holy songs, uh, uh, old songs. Uh, I think this, this special uh, CD, because there is, it's a uh, record with uh, people singing together. And there is a lot of simcha here, a poshut simcha that I'm a Jew. Uh, and it's not my song, it's song of Kal Yisrael together singing. Uh, this is the... No, it's very, I, I find that very interesting. Because that means that New York, in, the, in your New York performances, when you're not in Israel, like you said before, the crowd, you see, they're yearning for your Eretz Yisrael. Yes. So when you're performing here, it's not only Yosef Karduner's songs. You, you play whatever gets people in, and, and, and um, I had a chance to listen to the car a little bit before we came. It's not just you on a microphone with the band plugged into a sound system. You hear the crowd singing yeah. like yeah. Mam mamish, like Sing a kumzitz. Yes. And they're, they're getting into it. It's yes. not, very, not very quiet. Yes. So, but Baruch Hashem, it's, I think it's going to be very much later.